So hi everybody. Today I will be unboxing my Spearcraft book box for May. I really like the turquoise color with the pink polka dots and Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service and Mr. Totoro from my neighbor Mr. Totoro. So let's open this. So the theme for this month was from Tokyo with love and then how to get the most out of your Spearcraft book box and the first thing item in the box is a Kiki's delivery service wrist wallet so you can put the little wristlet on it I don't normally wear wrist use wallets, but I'll find some way to use it. A Sailor Moon scrunchie, which looks like it just has the Sailor Scout, so you've got Mercury, Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. I think I have them all right. It's been a while. Some Kiki's Delivery Service socks that I have taken out of the plastic. They're long socks. I have some other Kiki, so Kiki Delivery Socks with just Gigi on it a cherry blossom 100% soy candle made by Mad Alchemist Co. It's pink and it has very floral notes to it. A little enamel pin. It's a um, boba tea enamel pin. Boba time. And it's this little enamel pin that's boba tea and it's got a little face on it. That's cute. The autographed art, the autograph plate. The letter from the author. And the book, which is... Tokyo Ever After by Amiko Jean. So let's see if there's anything interesting under the dust jacket. And it looks to be like a little stamp. I'm not sure of what. Um, the end papers are this pretty green color. And let's read the summary. It's not easy being Japanese American in a small, mostly white Northern California town. Raised by her single mother, Azumi, or Izzy, because it's easier that this way, has always felt it's been her and her mother against the world, but Azumi doesn't, discovers a clue to her previously unknown father's identity. And he's none other than the crown prince of Japan, which means un, unspoken, irre, irreverent Izzy is literally a princess. In a whirlwind, Azumi travels to Japan to meet the father she never knew and discover the country she always dreamed of. But being a princess isn't all ball gowns and tiaras. There are conceiving cousins, a hung, hungry prince, hung, hungry press, a scowling but handsome bodyguard just might be her soulmate, and thousands of years of tradition and customs to learn practically overnight. Azumi soon finds herself caught between worlds and between versions of herself. Back home, 
She was never American enough. And in Japan, she must prove she's Japanese enough. Will Azumi crumble under the weight of the crown or will she live out her fairy tale happily ever after? So I've not read anything by Amiko Jean, but I'm really looking forward to it because what I've been hearing it called, um, they're saying Princess Diaries meets like crazy rich, rich Asian. So I'm looking forward to reading that and seeing what I think of it. Some of the things I liked in this box were maybe the candle. I did, I also liked the little boba tea enamel pin. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, 